Texas has set a new voter registration record. State officials say more than 15 million people are now registered to vote in the state. That's about one and a half million more people since the last midterm election. Here to talk about this is Travis County GOP Chairman Matt Makoviak and Delma Limones from the Texas Democratic Party. Thank you both for being here. Sure. Thank you. Matt, why do you think we're seeing this surge in voters registering ahead of this midterm election? Yeah, it's a couple of reasons. Uh, and just since March, I think you've had 400,000 people register. That was since the primary, so that's a very large number. Look, I think the simplest reason is that you have a number of competitive races, uh, up and down ballot all across the state, urban, suburban, probably less true in rural areas, but certainly urban and suburban areas, uh, including in the metro areas of Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, Austin, there are competitive races. Uh, you have at least three competitive congressional races, at least two state senate races that are competitive, probably 20 or 25 state house races. Obviously, the U.S. Senate race is getting a lot of attention. So folks register, uh, you know, partly because of, of interest in voting in competitive elections. But you've got to remember, Texas is probably the fastest growing state in the country. And so there are a lot of people who are moving here. Uh, and they voted in other places when they lived in other states. And that's why they're, 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 they're registering now. I know the deadline is October 9th. And if Republicans who have come to, the, to this area want to register, they can go to TravisGOP.com and get in touch. And we'll be, be delighted to make sure they're registered. Delma, Texas is ranked among the lowest when it comes to voter turnout. Do you think that will change this year? Definitely. The enthusiasm that we're seeing right now is usually the enthusiasm that we see around presidential years. Um, the Texas Democratic Party knows that, you know, voting is important. It is the best way to hold your elected officials accountable. But we also have to give a reason to vote, right? And so this year we... Um, Every congressional uh, district is contested. Um, not only do voters have issues to go vote for, but they have candidates, great candidates, um, to go vote for up and down the ballot. Matt, who do you expect to benefit more from the new voters, Democrats or Republicans? So it's hard to give kind of an overarching answer to that because ultimately it depends who's voting and where they're voting, right? Uh, which districts are they in? What's their background? What are their, their interests? What issues motivate them? Those kinds of questions. I can tell you that in Travis County and, but, and at the state party level, we follow who the new movers are. We, we make sure that uh, we register those who are Republican. We reach out to them. Uh, and that's something we do with a consistent effort. Uh, look, we want to see higher turnout, but we want to see higher turnout among legal voters. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why it was so necessary for the state to have a voter ID law, which now has been fully upheld and will not be challenged anymore in the courts. So we're delighted to see more people register. We'll be delighted to see voter turnout be higher. Uh, but ultimately, Republicans have to turn out to make sure we have good outcomes uh, in the midterm elections. Delma, what are your thoughts? Which party do you expect to see gain new voters this November? So what we've seen with this enthusiasm as well, and we saw this enthusiasm around the primaries, um, and we saw Democratic turnout uh, go up over 105% in the top 15 counties. Um, and so I think that voters are really concerned about issues like health care, immigration, their property taxes, and these are issues that aren't being addressed by current leadership, right? Um, so I think that voters are not sitting on the sidelines this time around, and they're going to hold their elected officials accountable. and. Uh, you know, vote for those candidates that have their best interests. Okay. Again, the deadline to register to vote is October 9th. You can visit votetexas.gov for more on that. But that is all the time we have. Delma, Matt, thank you both for sharing your perspectives with us tonight. Thanks. Thank you.